Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Ankit Sharma, and I welcome you all to the Prime Skills. And this is the first session of the Prime Skills talk show with Ankit Sharma. And today, I would like to welcome Mr. Anshuman, and he is basically a personality development and soft skills trainer with Chandigarh University. He is very much experienced in this field and actually training a lot of students, a lot of professionals, and corporates also in college and universities also. So I would like to welcome Anshuman sir on this talk show. Anshuman sir, you are welcome on Thank the you Prime so much, uh, Ankit sir, it's been a pleasure to be a part of this show. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you so much and most welcome uh, Anshuman sir. So Anshuman sir, let us start. First of all, I will tell you a little bit about this Like, uh, our show, hai, this show is basically about improving the communication skills, soft skills, and how exactly students can work upon their skills, which are generally not taught in the universities and schools. So we would be talking about a lot of queries. We will talk about many doubts and questions about the children where the problems come from, but they don't have any solutions for solutions. So we will ask such questions. I would be asking a lot of questions on behalf of students. I would be asking a lot of questions on behalf of students. And then you would definitely be providing expert solutions. And I believe that these solutions will definitely help out our students. So I hope we can start with it, Anshuman sir. Can we? Sure, sir. Sure. With the, with the blessing of uh, Lord uh, Goddess Taraswati, I think we should start. Because definitely. This is an educational uh, channel, I suppose. So uh, we all required her blessings also. Definitely, definitely. So uh, let us start. So Anshuman sir, uh, my first question is, uh, could you please tell me about the experience and how exactly you improved upon your communication skills? Because generally, to start a big problem, so you have started working on your communication on your communication. Sir, you have a very good question. The very first time when I was in my school, uh, I was not good in English. Uh, when I was in my formative years in my school. So what I used to do, uh, what I uh, used to find the reason was I didn't get a good teacher. A good teacher means a teacher who can motivate me enough to find out what are my mistakes rather than my teacher used to only focus on whatever I have done wrong, right? So I think uh, that was one of the reasons because of which on my initial uh, school time, I could not learn English the way I am speaking as of now. So what I did, uh, I'm quite uh, fortunate enough to have a father who is quite proficient in English, written skills and speaking skills. So I always used to consult my father regarding this. So you, he used to uh, you know, help me in small, small uh, challenges which uh, a novice or a fresher in English used to face. So my father is my first motivation. Then when I came in my 10th class, I met uh, one of my teacher who is still my role model. Uh, she actually handled my English and uh, took my English altogether to a different level. What she said, I still remember that, Anshman, don't take English as a, as a challenge, take it as a subject, right? So we, we learn other languages also. We learn different subjects like mathematics and sometimes some subjects are difficult. Why some people take English as a challenge altogether? Because they think that English is everything. Right. If we do not, uh, if we are not able to speak English properly, so our life will be over. So, Madam, ne jo mujhe bataya motivate kiya ki isko ek subject ki tarah lo. Aur uske baad main aapke saath hoon kahin pe bhi koi mistake ho rahi hai, please come. So, ye sari jo cheeze hoti hain, ek acha teacher bahut zaruri hota hai starting mein. Aur wo mujhe right time pe mil gaya, to mere khayal se wahan se fir meri journey shuru hogi. Very good. Anshu, uh, I really appreciate that you have elaborated so much and where I am able to understand that many problems generally, these are all problems that we have to face in front of all people, like a good teacher or a good background. So, Anshu, sir, here is a very important question here, as you have told us, in schooling, like, uh, generally, we have to say that there are more children in the Hindi medium board or the Hindi medium board, or the Hindi medium board, or the Hindi medium board, and the UP board, the problem is that they have to say English in the middle of English. They think grammatical concepts that they are very much good at them but again they feel ki unko english bolne mein pareshani hoti hai to how exactly they should start okay to iske liye main ek bahut chhota sa koi example aap se hi main ek question puchna chahta hu ki ankit sir sabse pehle jab aapne bicycle two wheeler jab aapne start kiya tha seekhna cycle chalana to aapka pehla experience kaisa tha aap mujhe bata sakte hain how was your first experience jab aapne cycle ko actually pakda tha aur chalaya tha kya aap usko end tak pahuncha paaye the ya kahin aap gir gaye the no, no, of course, I believe that I remember that it was a very rough experience and after killing my cycle, I fell down. 
लेकिन उसके बाद एक ऐसा टाइम आया होगा जब आपको समझ में आ गया होगा की अगर मैं ऐसा करूंगा तो मैं बार बार गिरता जाऊंगा सो यू माइट है और अब मेरे ख्याल से इतना टाइम हो गया है आपको मैं दोबारा से आपको साइकिल दूंगा तो आप बहुत अच्छे से चला सकेंगे yes no? बिल्कुल exactly. तो अंकित जी इसी तरह से इंग्लिश भी है इंग्लिश में क्या होता है कि हम लोगों को ऐसा लगता है कि एक क्योंकि हम लोग बहुत सारे इंग्लिश स्पीकर्स को सुनते हैं कभी हम लोग फॉरन एक्सेंट सुनते हैं कभी हम लोग न्यूट्रल एक्सेंट सुनते हैं और आजकल तो हर जगह पे इंग्लिश एक बहुत नॉर्मल सी चीज हो गई है अगर हमारी नॉलेज बहुत अच्छी भी है लेकिन हमारी इंग्लिश अच्छी नहीं है तो हम लोग अपनी परफॉर्मेंस को बहुत लैक लस्टर वे में अंडरस्टैंड करते हैं एंड आजकल वर्ल्ड भी ऐसा ही है आजकल वर्ल्ड भी उन्हीं लोगों को सुनना ज्यादा पसंद करता है जो कि मल्टी लैंग्वेज है जो कि बायलिंगुअल हैं या फिर जिनको अलग अलग लैंग्वेजेस आती हैं सो so, uh, मेरा उन लोगों के लिए सजेशन है जिन लोगों का बैकग्राउंड हिंदी मीडियम का है जब मैं मैंने स्टार्ट किया था क्योंकि मैंने नाइनटी नाइन में ट्वेल्थ पास आउट किया था उस समय यूट्यूब वगैरह कुछ नहीं होता था आजकल आपके पास मल्टीपल रिसोर्सेज है पास सोशल मीडिया है आपके पास बहुत सारे ट्यूटर्स हैं जो कि ऑनलाइन आपको गाइड कर सकते हैं आजकल आपको सिर्फ जाने की जरूरत नहीं है आप ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ले सकते हैं घर बैठे बैठे अगर आप वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल हैं अगर आप स्कूल में हैं या कहीं पे भी हैं तो आई थिंक रिसोर्सेज आर मेनी बट एक चीज की आपको बस वो चीज ध्यान रखनी जो मैंने आपको साइकिल वाला एग्जाम्पल दिया कि आ, बहुत सारे लोग ये कह देते हैं कि इंग्लिश एक महीने में मैं आपको सिखा दूंगा कई वीडियोज ऐसी होती है या एक हफ्ते में सिखा दूंगा आई वुड लाइक टू से अंकित सर दैट good things takes time hmm. and smart people and intelligent people give time for good things hmm. so agar aapko really mein english seekhna hai to aapko thoda sa time dena padega to so, aap ye priority mein lekar chalna hai ki english mein zarur seekhunga lekin aise agar mere ko sach mein seekhna hai to uske liye thoda practice zyada karni hai thoda time zyada dena hai and i am very sure aap hindi medium ke hain ya koi bhi medium ke hain aap zarur seekh payenge hmm Mm, I I really appreciate that answer and that uh, analogy of bicycle. So uh, Anshul sir, one more question. I have here. Generally, which is in front of us, I want to ask. That the first question is that why is the emphasis on English in today's world? Can you please just elaborate a bit about it? Uh, see, Anshul, why is English so important in today's world? Can you please just elaborate a bit about it? Anshul sir, just a little bit more. Can you repeat the question once again? Uh, why English is important? I I mean, like, why? Why do you think that English is important in today's world? एक्चुअली uh, मुझे ये लगता है कि हम लोग जितने भी इंडियंस uh, हैं वो घर में चाहे हमें इंग्लिश बाहर आती हुई है लेकिन घर में हम लोग ना हिंदी में ही बात करते हैं चाहे हम लोग कितने भी बड़े से बड़े स्कूल्स में पढ़े हों लेकिन घर में आई एम वेरी श्योर नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ इंडियन स्पीक इन हिंदी ऑनली अब क्या होता है कि जब हम बाहर जाते हैं और सेम लैंग्वेज कैरी करते हैं सपोज इंटरव्यूज में या कोई चीज में नेगोशिएट करना है या कहीं अपनी बात रखनी है अपने टीचर से बात रखनी है या कहीं पे एक स्पीच देनी है तो अगर हम थोड़ा सा इंग्लिश का टच रखते हैं तो एक प्रोफेशनलिज्म आ जाता है तो मुझे लगता है कि इसीलिए इंग्लिश को बहुत ज्यादा वेटेज दी गई है क्योंकि हम लोग एक लैंग्वेज हिंदी कॉमन लैंग्वेज हो गई कि हर किसी को हिंदी आती आती है अगर इंग्लिश वाला आता है तो उसको एक एक्स्ट्रा एज मिल जाता है कि येस इसने थोड़ा सा एफर्ट किया है अपनी लाइफ में थोड़ा लैंग्वेज सीखने में बस यही चीज है बाकी सारी चीजें नॉर्मल है और जहां तक मुझे लगता है एक चीज और जो इसमें मैं ऐड करना चाहूंगा शायद ग्लोबलाइजेशन की वजह से बिकॉज वी आर एक्चुअली लुकिंग फॉर द जॉब्स एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन डिफरेंट कंट्रीज सो आई बिलीव कि शायद वहां पे भी इस वजह से भी हमें इंग्लिश सीखना थोड़ा सा ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट हो जाएगी आप अगर आप कहीं पे जॉब के लिए अप्लाई करते हैं तो जब एच आपसे बात करेगी या कॉरपोरेट से कोई भी कॉल आता है तो कॉरपोरेट हंड्रेड अगर वो अच्छे अच्छा कॉरपोरेट है या मीडियम लेवल का भी है वो इंग्लिश मेंटेन करता है So, uh, obviously, आपने बहुत अच्छा पॉइंट बोला कॉर्पोरेट एंड हमारा जो वर्ल्ड uh, है वो बहुत ग्लोबलाइज हो रहा है बहुत सारी फॉरन कंट्रीज में इंग्लिश एक uh, एक नॉर्मल लैंग्वेज है तो आई थिंक हिंदी वहां चलेगी नहीं तो फिर इसलिए अगेन दैट इज वॉट आई माई प्रोफेशनल वर्ल्ड में अगर आपको सर्वाइव करना है स्टार्ट करना है थ्राइव करना है तो आपको इंग्लिश आनी ही चाहिए बिल्कुल बिल्कुल अंशु सर एक जो क्वेश्चन यहाँ पे उठता है और जो जनरली पूछा जाता है वो ये है कि क्या इंग्लिश बोलने से ही हमारा कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स इंप्रूव हो जाते हैं इट मीन लाइक अगर कोई एक बहुत अच्छा इंग्लिश स्पीकर है तो क्या हम ये कह सकते हैं कि वो एक बहुत अच्छा कम्युनिकेटर भी है 
ओके अगर मैं आपको अलग अलग फील्ड के एग्जाम्पल के हिसाब से मैं बताऊं अगर आप क्रिकेट में आप चले जाए तो बहुत सारे कंट्रीज में आ, जब स्पेसिफिकली अगर मैं इंडिया की बात करूं जब भी क्रिकेट प्लेयर्स आते हैं तो वो या तो वो टेंथ पास होते हैं ट्वेल्थ पास होते हैं या फिर वो ग्रेजुएशन बहुत कम लोगों ने की होती है क्योंकि उनका अर्ली लाइफ बहुत स्ट्रगल वाला रहता है उनको सिर्फ सिर्फ खेल पे ध्यान देना होता है अब क्या होता है जब वो आ, कुछ अवार्ड जीते हैं जीतते हैं मैच में उसके बाद जब उनकी स्पीच आती है तो कुछ प्लेयर्स होते हैं जो हिंदी में बोलते हैं लेकिन कुछ होते हैं जो इंग्लिश में बोलते हैं तो एक एक्स्ट्रा एज मिलता है ऑडियंसेज उनकी ज्यादा बढ़ जाती है और आपके पास बहुत सारे एग्जांपल्स हैं विराट कोहली सचिन तेंदुलकर विराट कोहली को तो अच्छे स्कूल से पढ़ा हुआ है लेकिन सचिन तेंदुलकर जब था तो उसको बहुत स्ट्रगल हुआ था वीरेंद्र सहवाग को बहुत स्ट्रगल हुआ था बट जब उन्होंने इंग्लिश सीखी नाउ दे आर वर्ल्ड क्लास इंग्लिश स्पीकर लोग उनको उनको सुनना चाहते हैं एंड वो बाहर जाके अपना अपना बोलते हैं लाइक आप बॉलीवुड में आप देखते हैं या फिर आप कई जगह पे कोई भी आजकल बहुत सारे YouTube चैनल्स भी आते हैं तो कई में आप उसमें देखते होंगे कुछ लोग हिंदी में उसको एक्सप्लेन करते हैं किसी को कुछ इंग्लिश में करते हैं तो जहां तक आपकी बात है इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन की तो ऑब्वियसली आपकी कम्युनिकेशन एक रेनबो की तरह हो जाती है जब आप उसमें वेराइटी ऑफ वर्ड्स लेकर आते हैं वो लेकर आते हैं आप उसमें ईडियम्स यूज करते हैं कोटेशन यूज करते हैं एंड आई थिंक ऑब्वियसली फिर जो लोग हिंदी वाले भी हैं, वो भी आपको सुनना so, चाहिए। अंशुमन सर अब नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जो हमारा है अब हम बात करते हैं एग्जैक्टली exactly अपने कम्युनिकेशन को इम्प्रूव करने के लिए तो आपको क्या लगता है व्हाट आर द इम्पोर्टेंट फैक्टर्स विच आर एक्चुअली रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर योर फ्लुएंसी और फॉर एक्सपर्टीज और कॉम्पिटेंस इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एज ए स्पोकन लैंग्वेज राधर आई शुड से Okay, so it's a very good question asked by you. So, uh, considering a varied audience uh, is watching uh, this particular uh, show of yours, so first of all, if you are a beginner level, right? If if you uh, are from a Hindi medium, completely Hindi medium, so first of all, start understanding basic things which are actually required for you. For 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 example, uh, you need to have some understanding of tenses because. whatever we are speaking we are speaking in some tense or other tenses right so if you are having the basic understanding of tenses it will be very easy for you to understand that in which particular tense a particular person is speaking that's the first thing then comes uh, sometimes people tend to get back from their uh, speaking ability because of uh, vocabulary challenges many people uh, you know give up english because they don't understand the abstruse and difficult uh, words and they they tend to get uh, baffled from them and they quit in between considering that english is actually a difficult language so i sh- i would like to give a suggestion to those jo specifically hindi medium wale hain ki aapko na kisi bhi cheez se ghabrane ki zarurat nahi hai jaise maine aapko bataya meri madam ne bahut achhi baat boli thi ki aapko isko ek subject ki tarah lena hai aap koi bhi cheez nahi seekhte hain to usme obviously koi challenges to aayenge par iska matlab ye nahi hai na ki koi naya concept aa raha hai to usse chhod hi dein piche और मैं एक और चीज बताना चाहता हूं कि कोई भी ये बोलता है कि मैं बहुत एक्सपर्ट हूं मैं बहुत ही मैं शायद कैम्ब्रिज या ऑक्सफोर्ड का भी प्रोफेसर क्यों ना हूं इंग्लिश का फिर भी मुझे बहुत सारे इंग्लिश के वर्ड्स नहीं आएंगे फिर भी मैं कुछ बोलूंगा तो मेरे में गलती होगी सो इट्स नॉर्मल गलतियां नॉर्मल है तो जो अगर इंग्लिश की बात है तो बिगनर्स को सबसे पहले टेंसेस को याद करना जरूरी है नहीं तो वो समझ ही नहीं पाएंगे कि वो कि आदमी सामने वाला किस किस टेंस uh, में बात कर रहा है प्रेजेंट में बात कर रहा है पास्ट में बात कर रहा है फ्यूचर में बात कर रहा है इससे रिलेटेड आप किताबों से बोर हो जाते हैं अगर तो आप बहुत सारी वीडियोस हैं अपने आप यूट्यूब में देख सकते हैं अगर वो भी नहीं पसंद आ रही अगर आप उसमें भी कंफ्यूज हो रहे हैं तो आप अपने पास के किसी कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट में जाइए और वहां पर आपको आपके जैसे लोग मिलेंगे जो कि आपको मदद करेंगे जो आपकी तरह चैलेंज फेस कर रहे हैं तो वहां पर जो टीचर आपको गाइड करेगा वो आपको रूट लेवल से गाइड करेगा तो आप ऐसा भी तो मुझे अगर मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि अगर आप टोटली हिंदी मीडियम है तो आपको जरूर किसी टीचर से संपर्क करना चाहिए आपको एक क्लास uh, एक्टिवली चाहे ऑनलाइन या ऑफलाइन जरूर अटेंड करनी चाहिए और टेंसेस से ग्रामर को आप बिल्कुल मत छोड़िए क्योंकि ग्रामर बहुत रूट है कई जगह पे मैंने देखा लोग बोलते हैं कि डायरेक्टली स्पीकिंग स्टार्ट कर दो आप जरूर स्पीकिंग स्टार्ट कर सकते हैं मगर वो वही बात होगी कि हम लोगों ने कहीं पे एक वीडियो देख लिया कि uh, कि टेनिस लॉन टेनिस कैसे खेलना है और सिर्फ वीडियो देखे हमने खेलना शुरू कर दिया तो वैसा वैसा नहीं होता ना कुछ उसके रूल्स होते हैं कोई भी गेम खेलते हैं कोई भी चीज करते हैं हम पढ़ाई करते हैं हर एक चीज का एक रूल होता है 
सो उसके रूल्स इंग्लिश के रूल्स टेंसेज होते हैं जो कि बेसिक्स होते हैं तो आई थिंक टेंसेज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड कनेक्ट विद योर टीचर्स और कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट आर नियर बाय योर प्लेस एंड आई थिंक थिंग्स विल बी बेटर फॉर यू Okay, so w- one thing which I would really appreciate about this thing, uh, I mean, about your answer, is that you told this thing that the mistakes are very much normal. I really appreciate because most of the times we are so apprehensive about our mistakes, and we believe that our mistakes are the ones which are going to make us take initiative. So I right. uh, really take that point uh, to the very considerable one. But one doubt which I have here is generally people say that grammar is an obstacle in learning. how to speak in english because most of the times they give an analogy that when a kid starts speaking hindi he doesn't know what exactly is the language behind it what exactly is the grammar behind it so why exactly we cannot learn english without grammar because we are just talking about a speaking okay. english so when i say that uh, grammar a very nice point raised by you uh, ankit sir when i say grammar i'm not saying that in totality you should uh, uh, understand grammar I'm, i didn't touch about different parts of speech or subject verb agreement or a uh, uh, active or passive voice i just mentioned tenses it's a part of a grammar it's not entirely grammar why i am saying this because this is the most basic thing right to understand was will is the difference between all these things and then uh, uh, ankit sir uh, have you ever gone to goa or uh, any uh, yeah yeah you? once once i have been to goa Okay, so there you might have seen near beaches. There are some little poor kids. They used to sell some balloons or some uh, basic, uh, uh, you know, items for for their living. And you know, they speak in English only. And they have never gone to school. They don't know what book is. The the But same sort speak. of scenario is in Rishikesh and Haridwar also. Yes, there are so many baggers. Rishikesh and Haridwar, right? And why is it so? Ankit sir, can you tell me? uh because they are very much into the conversation with those people who yes, are coming from because they directly parties. start conversing right hmm. so the first step is yes obviously i will suggest to every uh, you know listener if you are starting something to learn from english understand tenses first of all and then start practicing that's it right because uh, with practice you know you will be 10 times far ahead rather than you know referring to other books i'm not saying that go to uh, in the grammar book read each and every part you will give up very easily it will be very mundane it's it will be very boring but tenses plus practice 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 will give you a different uh, level of confidence yes great great and sure so, so uh, i'll i'll take this advice and definitely our audience are also listening to this advice actually so and sure sir we are just landing upon a very important question because if we really want to become a good and fluent english speaker we require the vocabulary and this is this is such a huge complex problem in front of all of us rather i should say in front of all the people who really wants to learn how to speak in english how to improve their vocabulary not only to learn words but to apply them in their communication that is a major task how exactly we should go further with that okay so uh, uh, ankit sir uh, you might be knowing that uh, there are three types of personality which we define in terms of communication the first is introvert the second is extrovert and the third one is ambivert now in these three uh, words there are four letters which are common can you tell me what are they uh word word word, word. 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 v e r t that's right, right. Hmm. so there has to have some logic behind that, that yes in terms I... of defining personality these four words are common hmm. why these four words are common because these have been derived from root right so many of the english words have been derived from latin which talks about the root word and uh, the the root word meaning of word has come from verto which means to turn so if you're turning inside that means if you are shy you actually uh, want a company of one or two you don't want to you know uh, interact or mingle with others so you are an introvert if you are extrovert that means outside you are turning outside you are life of a party gregarious sociable people really would love to have an interaction with you you are extrovert mb word again mb is a root word which means both so if you are both introvert and outward uh, 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 extrovert and introvert which we all are so you are ambivert so that means if you really want to work upon your vocabulary try to understand root words now there are so many root words we are again baffled and con- uh, you know confused what to do so there are uh, many uh, websites there are many books 
online books where you can have some theme based uh, you know uh, root vocabulary for example if uh, you are only talking about personality right so there are n number of word, words that des describe personality for example ego egoist egotist egomaniac uh, then altruist misanthro misogynist all these words actually define a personality of a of an individual so likewise if you uh, you know start understanding vocabulary through root words and theme based so i think your vocabulary will reach to a different level okay so that is there is one part that okay just we just want to improve our vocabulary but the yeah. main challenge which we face is in implementing that vocabulary in day to day communication because most of the times the students complain or rather they uh, they actually ask for the solution that we have words in our mind we generally know how to speak or how, how exactly to just to speak that in english but we are not able to use the newly learned words into our communication how okay. to do that that generally happens because what happens whenever we read a particular word uh, from a article in internet or newspaper or when we listen that particular word from someone who has, who has said that we miss some part of it either we just see the meaning Mm -hmm. and don't understand the the sentences because some of the words are having multiple meanings so the best the very first thing is start writing the the meaning of the words along with sentences first of all write okay and don't don't write 10 words just write two to three words and then easily you can use it with your friends the challenge comes that we either only remember the meaning and we don't don't convert it into sentence or we uh, understand sentence but we don't know the meaning actually so we are not completing the cycle but i am very sure uh, ankit sir if we complete the cycle uh, we will not forget the word so it means it's all about not just learning words it's about learning words practicing the them it. making sentences writing yes. journal and then try, you know dedicating the entire uh, time duration and just completing the cycle of that learning only then it would come into the yes. and my suggestion is that start with two to three words a day and then gradually you can uh, uh, you know increase the word limit yes i still remember you know doing that uh, mistake that i used to just learn that entire list of 10 to 11 words and then the next day i used to forget them like anything <laughs> so it is just very very normal practice i believe that yes. everybody will take into account that one or two words or rather you can just go for the word of the day from different dictionaries which can probably help right, right. so uh, that that advice can definitely help out so like how exactly to the next question which we are going to land upon is how exactly to work upon the fluency part because uh, sometimes i have just seen people you know stumbling upon that specific block because they are very much stuck in at different points and and are and are not able to just go with that specific flow which they actually desire so why why exactly it happens and how exactly to work upon the fluency actually fluency depends upon our background also uh, if you are entirely from hindi medium uh, then it, fluency will actually hamper a lot if we are in a mixed medium then we have slightly better than hindi medium but not that great but again if we are completely uh, from the english medium since childhood then i think uh, our english will be all together to a different level so uh, specifically those who are facing challenges with fluency uh, they need to first of all understand that it's okay right again start committing mistakes don't worry about it right but it's very very important that you should speak what i have speak uh, you know what i have seen people tend to feel that if i'm speaking too fast in an interview or i'm giving a too fast speech i am an effective speaker uh, ankit sir do you agree on me i i don't think so if i'm speaking too fast do you think that i'm an effective speaker i believe that fluency has nothing to do with the speed the pace and fluency are yes. two entirely different factors right so uh, it's a big myth that effective communication means or effective communication synonym is uh, fluency no yes at times you need to be uh, you know vocal about your points uh, without a break but pauses makes significant uh, you know uh, it's it's a huge importance it's a paramount of importance and that is why i think people should watch ted talks also of different origin in ted talks people from different countries they tend to share their experiences and you you will find that they give much importance to it's a balance between your fluency and pauses also now coming back to if you are really poor in your fluency what to do if you are techno savvy 
person if you are having a right now everyone possess uh, nowadays mobile or laptop right so we can install zoom app or ms teams or somewhere where we can record our our speech so what we can go ahead and do we can take up uh, an online article suppose an article on health right suppose it has 150 words so what we can go ahead and do just read those 150 words and set a timer suppose you are reading that 150 words in 15 minutes make sense now reduce the timer from 15 to 12 again read the same article and then from 12 to 10 again read the same article likewise if you practice at least thrice or twice a day i'm very sure within a month your fluency will improve beautiful beautiful i really appreciate this method because i have never you know heard about it and i really believe that this can actually help out our students thank you uh, so anshu sir uh, one more th thing i would like to ask here is that sometimes it happens hame aisa lagta hai like hamare dimag mein wo answer chal raha hota hai students generally ask it ki like hum agar wo answer dena chahe to hamare dimag mein wo chal raha hota hai ki ha hum isko bol sakte hain but they are not able to articulate it they are not able to just let it out or let it utter out of their mouth why exactly it happens why this hesitation of speaking english comes in almost all the students or all the people who are at a very beginner level why exactly it happens actually ye aapko bahut acha sawal hai bahut logon ko na apne answer ko organize karna nahi aata agar hum kuch bhi cheez bol rahe hain na chahe hum ek word bhi bol rahe hain hame organize karna bahut zaruri hai jaise hum log school mein aise likhte hain to usme ek introduction ka part hota hai fir central body aati hai fir conclusion aata hai तो मैंने कई बार देखा हम लोग कंक्लूजन पहले बोल देते हैं उसके बाद सेंट्रल बॉडी आती है और उसके बाद स्टार्टिंग कई गायब भी हो जाती है सो आई थिंक इंग्लिश में सेवन सीज होते हैं एक होता है कंप्लीटनेस कि हम लोग जो भी अपना बोल रहे हैं उसे पूरा कंप्लीट करें दूसरा होता है कंसाइसनेस कि हम उसे थोड़ा सा ब्रीफ करें तीसरा होता है कर्ट सी कर्ट सी में हमें पोलाइटनेस के साथ उस बात करनी है राइट करेक्टनेस एक और सी होता है कि आप ग्रामेटिकली करेक्ट रहे कोहिरेंस एक और सी होता है कि आप जो भी आप बोल रहे हैं उसका लॉजिकल फ्लो हो तो मुझे लगता है कि अगर हम सेवन सीज को राइटली इंप्लीमेंट करते हैं तो हम लोग अपनी इंग्लिश को बहुत सही बना पाएंगे और हमें थोड़ा सा टाइम सोचना भी चाहिए कि हम जब हम कहीं पे बोलते हैं इफेक्टिव स्पीकर्स की क्वालिटी होती है दे वो डायरेक्टली रश नहीं करते अपने आंसर्स पे वो छोटा सा रोल लेते हैं और लेकिन जब उसके बाद जब वो आते हैं वो पूरे ऑर्गेनाइज होते हैं तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है आप जरूर सोचिए भले ही आप कितने भी अच्छे स्पीकर हो लेकिन आपको थोड़ा सा अपने आंसर को अगर आप ऑर्गेनाइज कर लेते हैं कि मेरे को इंट्रोडक्शन में क्या रखना है मुझे सेंट्रल बॉडी में क्या रखना है और मुझे कंक्लूजन कैसा रखना है क्या मुझे कुछ कोटेशन ऐड करनी है स्टार्टिंग में क्या मुझे कुछ ईडियम्स और फ्रेजेस यूज करने हैं कुछ अच्छी वोकैबलरी यूज करनी है आप थोड़ा सा टाइम लेंगे तो आपकी आई एम वेरी श्योर की आपकी स्पीकिंग बहुत अच्छी हो जाएगी बिल्कुल सो लेट्स गो हेड विद आर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अंशुमन सर द क्वेश्चन इज जनरली द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर एक्चुअली प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर जॉब इंटरव्यूज सो अर्लियर दे डिंट वर्क आउट ऑन देयर स्पेसिफिक कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स और अदर आई शुड से द स्पोकन इंग्लिश स्किल्स बट व्हेन दे गो फॉर इंटरव्यूज दे एक्चुअली वांट टू इंप्रूव देयर कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स विद इन अ ड्यूरेशन ऑफ 15 टू 20 डेज और मे बी लाइक विद इन अ ड्यूरेशन ऑफ 1 मंथ सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वुड बी योर मैसेज टू दोस स्टूडेंट्स uh this is a very nice question because uh, you know every time placements is a very important task and in many of the colleges and universities across india now nowadays soft skills trainings are being given to them one good thing is that in most of the interviews there are some common interviews type of questions which most of the recruiters tends to ask very first question introduce yourself then why shall we hire you what the what are the things which you will bring to our company your strengths weaknesses etc etc now what you can go ahead and do first of all write an answer to such questions and this is a very important task yes you can make slight changes as per you are doing new courses are being added in in your resume but initially you should write those answers specifically if you are really weak in english you can consult your soft skills trainer you can consult your english faculty there or if you are attending some coaches co coaching online coaching then or offline coaching you should contact your coach because of if you really want to learn quick english you need some mentor without mentor it will be uh, i don't i will not suggest if that and why i am saying that practice writing some of the common interview question and answers 
because when you are writing it start rehearsing it again record your give your interview yourself only we are very lucky that we have uh, zoom app we have other google meet we have ms teams many uh, applications are there online applications where we can record our interview you can show to your trainer your teacher your coach your mentor and i think likewise in a very short span of time we can uh, uh, go ahead and succeed um, beautiful actually i uh, once again i would like to acknowledge the point that technology can definitely help us out in becoming really good speakers because earlier there was only one method that was the mirror method to stand in front of mirror and just you know yes. check out whether we can we are performing well or not but now we have technology and we can record ourselves we can actually track our performance whether we are performing really well or not so that is somehow a really a very good uh, you can say advice so like one more question which i would like to go further with is like today's parents are very much concerned about the communication skills and spoken english skills about their kids so for example like i do have a younger kid and i really want my kid to be very much fluent in english and i really want my uh, my kid to be very much competent in as a communicator Now, what should be the approach for those people? Because कहीं ना कहीं हमने देखा देखा है कि जो parents हैं वो अगर अच्छे speakers अच्छे English में या अच्छे communicators नहीं हैं तो उनको ये challenge face करना पड़ता है। आपकी उनके लिए क्या suggestions हैं कि किस तरीके से वे अपने बच्चों के communication skills को improve कर सकते हैं? किस तरीके से वो help कर सकते हैं? आप देखिए अगर बहुत ही छोटा बच्चा है और आप अगर हिंदी आप ऐसे parents हैं जो कि हिंदी में ही बात करते हैं आपके घर में शुरू से हिंदी का माहौल रहा है तो आप उसको अब बहुत छोटा बच्चा है आप उसको कहीं बाहर भी नहीं भेज सकते है ना आप उसको तो आप उसके लिए क्या कर सकते हैं कि आप स्टार्टिंग में कुछ ऐसी नर्सरी राइम्स लगाइए या कुछ ऐसा सॉन्ग लगाइए जो कि इंग्लिश में हो तो उसको उसके सब कॉन्शियस में कहीं ना कहीं वो जाएगा और उसको उसकी आदत पड़ जाएगी लेकिन बहुत ज्यादा आप उसको मोबाइल नहीं दिखाइए आप उसको सॉन्ग सुनाइए ताकि वो क्योंकि मोबाइल बच्चों के लिए ठीक नहीं रहता आप उसको इंग्लिश के सॉन्ग सुनाइए और आप उसको तो उससे क्या होगा कि उसके अंदर थोड़ा सा हैबिट आ जाएगी इंग्लिश को सुनने की फिर जब बच्चा क्रैच में जाता है या कहीं पे भी जाता है आप उसको रखते हैं थोड़ा सा बड़ा हो जाता है तो उसको आप आजकल हम लोग बहुत लकी हैं कि बहुत जगह पे ऐसे क्रैचेस हैं जहाँ पे जो इंस्ट्रक्टर्स है वो इंग्लिश में बात करते हैं तो वहां पर आप उसको ऐसा एनवायरमेंट दे पाएंगे जहाँ पे वो बच्चा अगर बहुत ही छोटा है तो फिर वो स्टार्टिंग से सीख पाएगा और उसके बाद आप स्कूल में जैसे जैसे वो आगे जाएगा तो वो सीखेगा उसमें आपको घबराने की जरूरत नहीं कि मेरे को हिंदी नहीं आती मैं क्या करूं क्या मुझे सीखना ही पड़ेगा हाँ आपको ये जरूर करना पड़ेगा कि आपको उसको कम से कम इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग स्कूल में या क्रैच में जरूर डालें उसको जी, और उसके बाद जैसे जैसे आगे वो जाएगा तो आई थिंक उसकी उसका कॉन्फिडेंस अपने आप बढ़ जाएगा तो थैंक यू सो मच अंशुमन सर आई होप कि हमारे इस डायलॉग से और हमारी इन बातचीत से डेफिनेटली हमारे जो ऑडियंस है उनको कुछ ना कुछ फायदा जरूर होगा and uh, now i would like to request you ki if i ask you one last question that if somebody wants to improve his or her english now what can be the summarization of the entire talk what should be the steps which you would like to give as a suggestion to our audience can you please just summarize okay the very first uh, thing start committing mistakes don't worry about grammar relax start speaking and uh, if you are finding a, a speaking partner it's great if you are not finding an english environment join a coaching institute where you will find a people like you and uh, understand that connecting with the right person a right teacher a right guide or mentor is very very important because until unless we get the right guru it will be very difficult for us to succeed in life indeed indeed very very thank you so much uh, uh, anshuman sir uh, we really would like to thank you again and again because you came over on this first episode of uh, the prime skills talk show and uh, we you would definitely be invited in future episodes also in order to just give some expert ac- advice so thank you so much once again and we believe that this episode is actually going to help out our students all the people who really want to improve their communication and english and if there is anything which you would like to connect for uh, to anshuman sir or me i would be the putting the linkedin uh, linkedin profile links and the facebook profile links in the description box please go over there and please connect with us so thank you so much anshuman sir bahut bahut dhanyawad aapka aur aapne thank you thank you for calling me here uh, you have been a great host i thoroughly enjoyed your company and conversation also and yes as you rightly said if student or any uh, one has any query to be the link will be shared by 
Ankit sir, and I'll be more than happy to help you. All the Thank best. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much, Anshu sir. Have a good day.